This week we had a look at how to create a logo in Archicad and we use this to create or start creating a title block. Now this is obviously the final stage, the output of our drawings, but first we need to start to create our drawings. So you'll find in the P drive uh, a plan, a sample plan that I'm providing, we're calling this the cave and so this is a, a semi underground house and design office and so if you want to make this a design exercise then the intention is that you today are going to design this design office space and maybe a little bathroom that's connected to this house as part of the cave and we're going to be able to model this up and then create it as a 3D building and then create the floor plans elevation sections in Archicad as well. So to do this what we want to start by doing is creating our drawing now or our Archicad file for the purposes of modeling or building information modeling. So when we see our stories, when we created this file, it was file, new, new, and hold down alt, so you get new and reset all, which just deletes a lot of the inbuilt template information, which just is a little bit complicated when we first start out in Archicad. Therefore, under stories, if we click on one of these story settings, what we want to now do is go in and create some background information to help build this model. Now what we would normally do is start from the ground up, literally. And so this first one story, we'll call it AHD, Australian Height Datum. And we're gonna base this on the real height levels of our site. So hopefully we could get a, a topography map and go with that. Now we're not gonna worry too much about what this means today, but we'll go up from here. Normally then above this, I'd create a story called Terrain. And this is where I'd place my ground, place my site, and in Archicad we call this a mesh. So we'll discuss that soon. Insert above. Now, we could call this a lot of different things. Uh, I'll call this lower ground floor, as the, the name file suggests. Then I could create another story above that. I'm just using the insert above. It's much better to use this option than the insert below. Otherwise, we'll end up with negative story numbers. And that's obviously a little bit problematic. Now I could have a ground floor. In this case, it's, we're only talking about a single story structure and it is semi underground, which is why we're calling it lower ground. So we'll just call this roof or roof terrace perhaps. Now I haven't done anything with these heights. Again, we can change these. The way that I would tend to do it is we start with AHD as zero. Now if we decided that this building <clears throat> was up in the mountain somewhere, then this might end up being 120 meters above sea level. So I'm gonna start with 120,000. Now I don't need to add in such a big number. I can use AHDs, Australian Height Datums, or I can use an RL, a reduced level. So to keep this simple, I'm not gonna use zero. I don't wanna ever start at zero because that would mean that as soon as I go under that level, underground for a footing for instance, I'm now in a negative again and I don't wanna be negative, I always wanna be positive. So let's make this instead 10 meters. So just a nice round number from which we can start. Then everything else will sort of work it out above there. But terrain, um, I'm just going to say that is zero height to next. And then my lower ground floor, <clears throat> let's make that 3,500. So from ground to the next story is three and a half meters. Now I don't need to worry about the height to next of the roof. I could just make that zero. It's not really going to affect anything. Now you noticed, hopefully, that I was changing my height to next levels. I wasn't changing my elevation levels. This is, you can do it either way. But I find when you start from the bottom up and change the heights next, it adjusts everything here. If you try to do it backwards, if you try to work from the top down, it doesn't work. So just try to follow that same pattern and I'm confident that it will work out nicely for you. Now we have to make sure we press OK because that's going to then make changes to our navigator, which is actually changes to our entire project. So where are we going to place this? We're going to use the, the floor plan. Now I've placed this logo on the story AHD, which I don't really want. I'm just gonna cut that, which was command or control um, X. Sorry, I'm using a Mac now, so sometimes I forget to d describe which other function it is. Or we could of course go edit cut, and I'm just gonna place this onto a, a detail page. So this means it's just separate from my working file. 
and I will just rename this logo and I'll paste it here basically so it's out of the way. So back to the AHD story. So we're now dealing with stories because we're talking about a physical building and we just drag and drop this file that I've provided across for you. So it's now on the page. We see that this is a bitmap. This is pixel based, deliberately saved as a picture, so you can't cheat. Uh, but if this was a vector based file, you could potentially right click and it's grayed out in this case. But reshape explode into current view and that would turn it into the lines. Now, of course, if you're getting this file from someone who wanted you to be able to use this file, they might also give it to you as an IFC, which would mean that you can create or use straight away, utilize the 3D model and not have to draw it again. For the sake of this project, we are going to be drawing it again. So the first thing we need to do is to scale it up. So we're going to select this drawing, edit, reshape, resize to make sure it's to scale. Now it might already be to scale, but I'm going to show you the process just in case it's not. And the way that we do this using the define graphically option is we find an existing dimension, ideally the longest one on the page, so we can check to see if this is to scale or not. So I'm going to use this dimension line here, 9730. So I'm going to click on the intersection of this dimension. I'm going to scroll up. And if I just hover around here for a second, we see that this already is to scale. So I'm going to just create a copy of this, make it not to scale, and then show you how to do it if, if you manage to get something that's not to scale. All right, so I'm going to shrink this down so it's no longer to scale and repeat that process. Edit, reshape, resize. Same thing, I'm going to click on the area that wasn't to scale on the bottom of that dimension, 9730. Now I'm going to click on the top of that dimension where I want it to be. And we see that it's 6114, so that's wrong. So now, having clicked both sides of that dimension, I can increase or decrease the size. And rather than just guessing, I'm just going to type in the number, 9730, enter, and that's going to resize that drawing to scale. Now, of course, it's only as good as my ability to click in the middle of that dimension. And because we're working with a picture, something that is a bitmap, not a vector-based file, it's never going to be perfect, but that's okay. So that's how we can resize if we find that we're out of scale. Now, I'm not going to worry about that one. I'm just going to use the one that was already to scale. And we're going to start drawing. So in order to draw, we can try to draw it on another story, but sometimes, depending on how we've made the file. If it's a picture-based file, sometimes we can't see what's below. So instead, we're just going to have to draw over this file to begin with, and hopefully we'll be able to see, or you'll be able to see what I'm doing as we follow this process. So to draw, we could start with lines, but that's sort of wasting time. So we're going to jump straight into 3D tools. Now under our toolbox, left-hand side of the page, we have Select, Design, Document, and More as our subheadings. Now the one that we want to choose at the moment is our wall tool. Now there's a lot of different options when it comes to the wall tool, so it can get really tricky. I could spend a lot of time on that. I might just spend a very little amount of time on that. When we build a wall, we can either do a, a simple wall, which means it's just solid or a monolithic structure. We can use a composite wall, or basic, composite, and complex is the, the terminology Archicad uses. A composite wall means it's built up of multiple layers, and that's all dependent on what's built into the template file that you're using. Or we have the complex wall, which we see is generally used to create a complex profile or something that's not straight. So we can use that to create footings or cornices or multifaceted shaped walls. So we're going to use the complex profile later, but we find that there is not a 270 brick or a cavity brick, which is what we'd want to use. So for now, all I'm saying is that we're going to use something very simple. We're just going to use the generic structure, and we're going to type in the width of what we want this to be. And we're going to draw this shape. Now, how do we draw it? 
we could just trace it, we could use the numbers. To make this faster, we're just going to draw. Now this uh, is a little bit of a complicated drawing because it's using these piers as well as these walls. To keep this simpler, all that we're going to do is just trace over the whole thing. And when we draw, we should always be drawing in ARCHICAD in an anti-clockwise direction. So I'm just going to zoom in enough to get this roughly correct. I'm not going to be perfect. Now if you've got a, a template file that's already got a cavity brick on it that you're using, great, use that. I'm just going to use the simple one here just to try to um, help everyone who might not have the same template file when they start a new file. So when we're drawing in ARCHICAD, how do we draw? We start with maybe the, the biggest object first. We build a wall and we don't leave the gaps for the doors, we draw the wall first and then we add the windows or the doors into that after we've finished. So this is the first exercise. We've now opened a, a file. We've created the story settings. We've placed our plan as a reference file. Now we're currently on the wrong story. So I might even just select all of this for now. Control cut and paste this up on lower ground floor and then we'll replace it or move it later. So I'll just copy this now. Sorry, I'm using my keyboard too much. Edit, copy, and right click edit or edit paste. So I'm just keeping a copy down there just so I don't do anything accidentally and delete that. So now we've got our walls and then the next video we'll have a look at the next part of building this model. But just for now, so you can see what we're doing in 3D right click, select what we want to see, show selection marking in 3D window. So we now have some walls.